You still playing playing PUBG at the moment, Einstein? Looking forward to ranked. Aside from the uh, question you had the other day about placement. I don't think there's been any further clarification on ranked really since then, has there? It's not out on PC yet, is it? It's still on test server, right? I think. I'll take a Sanok. 35 people, man. The matchmaking is definitely... Definitely slower, isn't it? I mean, we queued for a minute or two to get into this. And then we're in a 37-man Sanok lobby that's got to fill up. Yeah. You know, I'm rolling with the punches with the bots, and I don't mind the bot games so much, but uh, I definitely preferred PUBG before in the pre, <laughs> pre bot, pre bot times. How old are you? I'm very old, very very old, deeply old. Uh, Andy woman, how you doing? How you doing, Bill man? With your lovely two year badge. I wonder how long the lobby waits before the game decides to fill with bots. Yeah, I'm not sure really. I imagine that is a fixed time. I don't know if it's like a thing that always just happens on games you play for a long time. Because I feel like it kind of happened a bit with World of Tanks for us as well. Like where just things start to just grate you a bit. And you used to be able to do things in a more fun way than it, the game lets you do now. But I don't know if that's just something that happens when you play a game for a long, long time. And you kind of, there'll be like a certain period of time playing that game that just worked best for you personally. And then it's never quite there again. It's just always a bit frustrating. Like, not being able to play much Erangel, having slow matchmaking. Hey, there we go. There we go. Twisty, thank you for the nine-month resub. Cheers, Twisty. Look at that. There we go. We've got our new little sub alert we're running for the next couple of weeks. Uh, so as you may have seen in the title, these uh, streams over the next couple of weeks are sponsored. Uh, we're helping promote uh, new Alan uh, Walker and Hans Zimmerman, Zimmerman track. Uh, a remix of the track Time that you might know from Inception. Uh, the full track's available on Spotify. You can go check that out. There's a link in chat under the Time command. Go check it out. But yeah, we've got a new little sub alert. The saxophone is still here. Don't worry. Saxophone is unchanged for gifted subs of, you know, five or more. But the short alerts are now uh, a little ditty. A little a little electronic ditty. Twisty, how you doing? Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Thank you for the first sub of the week. Uh, I'm still playing. I don't mind the bots so much. I'd probably play ranked if they had solos, but I'm not sure my squad will play it too much. I prefer when the time rises or falls together. Yeah, I, if they had solos ranked, I'd definitely be looking forward to that and playing it. Sadly, they don't, so I'm not. Um, so we're just going to be playing the same old games we have been. Yeah, I mean, as I said, I, the bots themselves aren't really an issue for me now. I don't mind the bots themselves. I think it's just some of the consequences of bots being in the game that I mind, which predominantly matchmaking times. Like, this game has been very slow to get into. It's a good track. It is a good track. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. I'd agree with that. My bread and butter has always been Madden and NBA 2K. I've played it so much. I think it's just... I just have an expectation of what the game should be. And then it's not that and becomes more taxing to play. Yeah, exactly. I think it's a... Uh, and it's not necessarily... You know, there's, there's things I would have liked PUBG to, PUBG to do differently. But it's not always the game's fault, you know. I think everyone has a different part of a game that they're like, this is the best time that game was was out, you know. And it can't be like that for everyone at one time. But, uh, you know, increasing matchmaking times in no way can be a good thing for anyone, so. Um, cave. We're a bit late for cave. Like, just go over here somewhere. Stuart, thank you very much for the 200 biddies. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. Come 
message. Uh, Eamon, how you doing? Elite Raiders, how you doing? Crates only. I could do crates only if we could do Erangel only. Where am I? I sort of stop paying attention. Go here. Where's the zone? It's, um, uh, this will be fine. There might be someone down here. We had a weird drop. The early start increases your chance of seeing me in pajamas. <laughs> How you doing, Eamon? Man, I need to get this window open. It's, I thought I'd be able to close the window for a bit, but it's already, like, super warm in here. Just wanted to hear that. I don't blame you, mate. It's a nice, it's a nice sound. Uh, what's up, Tony Brooker? How you doing? Cray Cakes, how you doing? Ooh, it's toasty today. Toasty today. Uh, Morpheus, good to see you. Hope you had a good weekend. Oh, it feels kind of dark in there. I did change my brightness to brighten my brightness. Is <laughs> I changed my brightness the other day, didn't I? Uh, on a bit of a whim, really. Let's see how that goes. I'm sure it's fine. Sure, it'll be fine. It still annoys me how quiet this game is. Not not just like uh, gunshots being quiet, but uh, or you know not being footsteps rather. Gunshots are really loud. But just the fact there's no background sounds, just really great to me. I don't know if it's because it's something I like used to study years and years ago. It was like audio for film and games and stuff, but it just bugs me that there's no. I just didn't bother putting any background sounds in. Just none. It's just. Half, 90% of the time, it's complete silence. Seems a weird, weird way to have a game to me. Oop. So they haven't really mentioned any, um, anything about ranked for, uh, Xbox just yet. Kind of waiting to see what the crack is going to be there. Um, they've put it on to PC test servers, but um, that's about it. So I don't know if we're going to... Normally we'd expect to be like a week or two behind PC. So I'm kind of expecting us to see it, you know, pretty pretty soon. But I don't know if it'll go on um, test or not, really. And I assume it'll be the same implementation as PC has, which would be squads only. Uh, what's up, Doko? How you doing? I really like the silence of PUBG. I can listen to podcasts while playing solo. <laughs> I mean, sure, if you want to multitask, I guess that's good. It's also it's good for viewing at work. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess yeah, there's a way of looking at it, I suppose. To me, it, it, when I play another game, it, it just makes it feel like you have a much less, like, um, auditorily rich experience. Would that be a, the correct phrase? Something like that. You know, like Battlefield has a lot of Battlefield especially has really good really good audio. CODs is a bit of a mess, but there's there's more of it, but it's a bit of a mess I find. But it does make it feel more epic. But um it's more just like not I don't need like crazy explosions and shit just randomly going off, but uh just like little quiet ambient sounds, you know, like the sounds you hear in the real world when you're going around. There are, you know, there's always little sounds in the distance and in the background going on, you know. Which PUBG doesn't have unless a player triggers them. What's up, pseudonym? How you doing? Nice to see you. You enjoyed this morning's video? Excellent. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Yeah, it was a pretty good game, right? 
It gives the feeling of no environment. Yeah, yeah, it kind of... It adds... When you have a nice soundscape in a game, for me, it kind of adds... You know, it adds a slight sense of immersion, which, you know, PUBG doesn't really have, I don't think. Sure. Pun. Kind of a weird, weird loadout. Yeah, it's funny. I never really found the Vikendi uh, sounds especially loud, to be honest. Um, let's go for that. And then, sure, we're good. We're golden. Not that I thought the Vikendi background sounds was especially, like, rich and interesting, but uh, it was something, I suppose. Thank you. How's there only 36 alive? What is going on? Did everyone just drop boot camp? Did, did all the bots forgot? What even is this? When did they all die? It's not even the first circle isn't ticked in yet. You little DBS. What's going on? Just been looting and chatting for five minutes. Everyone's dead. KP dropping the 25 months, dude. Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Hey, doing KP. Hope you had a good weekend. Appreciate your support, mate. Wink. What's up, Elite Raiders? How you doing? Um, sure. Well, we got we got enough stuff. I was just looking for like an Uzi stock or a bit more fives, but we'll find some. I mean, if there's anyone left to kill by the time we get to the circle. It doesn't feel normal to have 30 people left before, what, as zone 1 ticks in, does it? There must have just been like an insane amount of people hot dropping. All the bots did some like stupid shit and drowned. I feel like there are a lot of bots in this game. It took a while for the, for the lobby to fill up. Don't really need any of that, do we? What's up, Mimic Painter? How you doing? Nice to see ya. Trying to sort out delivery with the missus. Well, I don't think it's going to be a very high kill game, given <laughs> the amount of people left in it for us to shoot at. Oh, another DBS. Hello, mate. You are right. Didn't find a bit of fives. I feel someone could really easily just pop up out of nowhere here. It's all a bit of a mess. It's very messy. Ah, there we go. Thank you. Oh, no, no, thank this. Sure. We'll keep going. Uh, Butler, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you had a good weekend. Oh, hello. I should see... Some movement! We found a boy! We found a lad. Hiding behind that rock. Who knows? Feels likely.
A little badge change there, KP. Very nice, very nice. Gonna do a workout while I watch you get this chicken dinner. Nice, nice. I like it. I like it. Multitasking to the max. I don't know where that lab went. I'm guessing he just carried on. Either he carried on running or he's just like hiding behind a rock waiting for me. Let's see if he shows up. Zone's pretty kind. That is literally the only dude I've seen. <laughs> That's it. That grows up. Oh, that. <laughs> they both died. <laughs> he just veckied that dude and then uh, got killed by his grenade. That Traves guy had been killing loads of dudes as well. Let's go and steal their stuff. I'm pretty sure he had a grows up. Hey, this is Colby. My other account got hacked. Hey, Colby. It's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Oh, he's there. I'm guessing he died. Yeah, he died in there. Ooh, don't hit me. Could well end up just getting... Uh, Fragged here, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, there was a grows up. Could have done with some fives, but I'm sure we're fine. I don't know where this lad went. You'd think he would have gone over that way, or we would have heard him if he pushed this way. Hey, Doran, how you doing? Oh, it is a car. I thought it was just uh, the lad. No, just the lads, just the uh, the blue zone. That was the sound of the blue. Uh, yeah, good to see you, Doran. You, I don't mind Sanok, it's okay. It's a bit weird when you have like a... Uh, everyone just died really early on this. We dropped and like five minutes later there were 30 people left. It was kind of... Kind of strange. Uh, if you hit the time command, it'll tell you all about it, Dutch. How you doing, mate? You smell chicken. I mean, it's not... I feel like it barely even counts when you haven't even got a kill yet. It's nearly top 10. Is it even a chicken dinner? It's no Erangel chicken dinner, is it? Who knows? Maybe some, maybe some crazy things will happen. It's not what it says, it's, does it, Dutch? We did steal a Groza though, so you know, that's a plus. What's up, Mac? How you doing? Good to see ya. Well, John McLean's in my game, that might spice things up. Here's a lad. Here's a cheeky Larry. I think someone's trying to shoot him in the butt. Oh, thanks, Frag Man. You helped me out there. Where's the Where's the boy who threw the frag, though? Over there. <laughs> Got him. We got some kills. <laughs> we killed some people, Ma. Got a bit of fives for me. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 
you did have some. Where is it? Why oh, that vest? Hmm. No, I think we're good. Yippee ki yay! Or yippee ki ya. Yeah, whatever. You know, what <laughs> whatever works, it'll be fine. A chicken is a chicken. Yeah, I suppose so. I suppose so. We'll have to go on a right old rampage for it to end up on YouTube, though. It's, you know, that's all I'm saying. Don't ask for fives if you don't intend on taking it. I know. Well, I, was, I thought fives initially, and then I was like, actually, let's just, you know. Let's just change guns. That was handy. I was missing quite badly, and then he conveniently turned and walked into the spray. Cheers, buddy. Thanks, friend. Last bullet OP. Did we get him in the last bullet? Nice. Classic. It wasn't my finest. <laughs> wasn't my finest work, but he's dead. It's all that matters, right? It's all about the end result. Hello! And the Larry's. Anyone coming out of there? That's a guy. Okay, let's get in the... Oh, should get in the zone first, really. Oh, he's just chilling there. He just be chilling. One down there. That's like a pretty big gun. Oh, I wanna... Oh, Heisenberg's in my game. We're gonna get really... Gotta be careful here. We're gonna end up really on the back foot for the zone. But I just wanted to see if we could poach a lucky... Uh, you know, shoot a wounded boy. No, let's go zone. Because they had a bit of a scrap over there. We got a bit of a shift. Are you in touch with Ross? How's he doing during the quarantine? Yeah, he's good. Uh, we, he's been on stream a bunch. He's been on... Lamb's been playing on most of the... Um, the ARC streams. That we've been doing. So if you want to catch some Lamb. Tune in for some ARC. A bit worried about... I feel like there's still another guy up here. Maybe not. Oh, this is rough, though. <laughs> Good shot. Oh, I should have given it more of a wiggle. Heisenberg. Heisenberg. GG's. What's he running with that? An Org M24. Right in the head. I saw that name a lot. Is he a streamer or something? Who's that? Heisenberg? No, he's just somebody who watches the channel. It's a good shot. I wasn't wiggling, I guess, so... It was a straight line, but... It was still a nice shot. Got to be happy with a moving heady. I'm sure he meant Ross. Maybe. Maybe. Breaking Bad was a great series. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? I wouldn't mind rewatching it sometime. I feel it's probably been long enough since I've seen it. Would be manageable. You've never seen a single episode of Breaking Bad? You should watch it, man. It's good. It's good. Worth checking out.
Have you ever seen the Puffy Shirt Seinfeld episode? Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't. Hey, Jack. Good to see you, mate. Mickey, great to see you, buddy. Did you know SOA is the word for STD in Dutch? You've got like a little Dutch thing for everything. Full of Dutch facts, aren't you, mate? Bucket full of them. Uh, Pistol Petrelli, nice. Thanks for checking out the stream, mate. Appreciate it. Welcome from YouTube. Nice, nice. Yeah, started early today. I was thinking about doing the 12 starts a week. I'm not sure. I might put them to one. It does get a bit rushed with the other stuff I've got to do. So we'll see. I might adjust the stream schedule slightly for the rest of the week. Apologies. Well, yeah, a little bit slow into the second game as well. A little bit slow. Have you found the world's best Larry yet? We've been working on it. We've been wor Have we had a 10? I don't know if we've had a 10 yet. I'm not sure if we've had a 10. What's up, Owen? How you doing? We, um, we had the one that went up today on YouTube. And there's another Larry win with slightly different circumstances that's going to be going out over the next week or so. Uh, also on Sanok. So there's been a few successful Larrys. Uh, Gerald, how you doing? Nice to see you. Finally good weather again this week. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, really sunny today. It's going to be getting getting pretty toasty in here, I think. I think we've had a 9, not a 10. Yeah. I think we're saving a 10 because a 10 Larry needs to be like, not just a win, but like a hard carry. It needs to be me and a Larry and the Larry gets like just so many kills and wins and I barely do anything. That's kind of the, you know... A 10 out of 10 Larry has to be like I'm playing with Alec, right? Has to be like a pedal, bro. What's up, Sean? How you doing? Nice to see you. Captain Crunch, how you doing? That's how they got me hooked on Beard with the YouTube. Nice. That's the plan. That's the plan. Lure him in with YouTube. <laughs> Hook, line, and shinker. Nacho dropped Nacho dropped a 16 kill win today. That's a GG. Nice. I feel like high kill wins are a bit spoiled now, though, because you have to caveat every one with how many bot kills are in it, right? If you get a 20 kill win, but five of them are bot kills, then it's not a 20 kill win, right? What's up, Nezzy? How you doing? Is there no one coming here? Oh, my God. I can't even see anyone, let alone anyone here. For realsies? I didn't, can't see, didn't see a single other parachute. Morpheus dropping down the gift this sub to Pistol Petrelli, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, no one wants to come. Come hassy. I'll tell you what, if someone turns up here and shoots me, I'll be, be amazed. Because we had a pretty good look around there. I would still quite like to find a gun, though. Sure, I do. Golden Morado for no effort, can't complain. Yeah, the, you know, best vehicle in the game, right? All wins feel different. You know, don't get me wrong, you still have fun wins, but, uh... It's just a bit of a shame you now have to, like... 
you can't just be like, yeah, I got a 20 kill win. I, you know, I broke my record or whatever. Because, you know, there's kind of more to it than that. Yeah. I mean, then it must, I don't know how I'm going to get a 20 kill win. If I, that last game on Sanok, how many did we kill? We killed everyone that we saw. <laughs> But I guess there were two people that just got away early game, but we still only got like four kills, maybe. I probably saw six people throughout the game. I mean, I guess we didn't hot drop, but... Uh, Nezzy, how you doing? How do? What's up, Plow? How you doing, mate? I just want to play on Erangel. That's all I want. Just give me Erangel. And maybe, you know, some more guns at Hassi. There is, there is not a lot here today. We've looted, like, almost all of Hassi, and we found an M16 and a shotgun. <laughs> and that Winnie. Oh, there's a K9. Hey. Oh, on that. Hey, from Belize. Nice. What's up, Bongo Reed? How you doing? How's Belize? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, sure. Well, that'd be, this would be fine, right? Ah, we'll take a barrel. There we go. Nice. Bit more like it. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, let me do that. Oh, it makes a nice sound, though, doesn't it? Sounds great. We're like bang in the middle of the zone as well. I don't know where we're going to find anyone. There must be loads of bots in this lobby. 74 still alive. It's pretty pretty spread out, I think. We need bits on this gun. Have we seen any gun bits? It's very naked. Um, I mean, we could take the scar. I feel like the scar is going to... I'm going to do better with a scar with nothing on it than with a with a barrel with nothing on it. Let's do that then. I would have kind of liked to run the barrel. I'm kind of trying it out a bit. It's going to get changed really soon, so... If I kind of use it a bit now, I get a bit of, better, bit of a better idea. Oh, we could take the DBS. DBS K9? Sure, let's do that. So indecisive. Oh my god, I keep doing that so often. Uh, Stu Parkin, how you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, turning crossplay off gives you uh, gives you a lot of bots. So we don't have to worry about carrying loads of ammo as well now. We do have to go find those shotgun shells that we dumped though. Then we go shoot some lads. Don't need to worry about attachments. Don't need to worry about ammo. We're just ready to go. Ready to go. Just take the gold Murado. Go find some boys. Home workout complete. How's your running been going? Good, actually. I mean, I've been a bit... The last two months, I've been running a lot. I've done... Um, I don't know, maybe like 30 to 40 kilometers a week. Something like that. But then this month, I hadn't really been out as much. I've just been out going out like once a week for maybe 6 to 10k. Um... But then I went out yesterday and ran a half marathon. I did like 21k yesterday. So I, that was the, and I haven't run that distance for a long, long time. Uh, so yeah, that felt really good. It was nice to go out and do a long run. He's just running at me, isn't he? Are you a bot or just a weird, weird guy? Nope, not a bot. I 
Oh, you're there. Oh, you. I think. I think he's a bot. No, I'm not a bot. You should live stream your runs. Uh, I don't think that'd be. That's not what people people want to see, right? Plus, you know, everyone to know where I live, so there is that. Uh, Tomahawk, thank you so much for the ten month resub. Cheers, Tomahawk. Appreciate the support. Good to see you. Cheers, mate. Appreciate the support. It's kind of one of the annoying things about bots, that is that you end up, someone fires at you a bit and you're like, oh, it's a bot. And then so you stand there in the open and then it, when it turns out not to be a bot, you just get killed. <laughs> Still adapting to the, adapting to the bot, the bot mentality here. Yeah, I don't think a live stream run would be very, it's just, you know, I'm just running really. <laughs> Just running. It's hard enough to get people to watch us play PUBG. Bot bait, yeah. What's up, Sink? How you doing? Come on, give me an air angle game. I want an air angle game. All right, we'll just hot drop. We'll hot drop. We can't start quitting our lobbies. It's gonna. We won't get any games. Attach a cow. Attach a cam to Alfie. You get him to follow you. I'd watch that. <laughs> you what? You'd just be looking at my ass for an hour for two hours. <laughs> From a very low level. It's stomping people camping so much though. What you think so? <laughs> yeah, it felt really nice to go out running yesterday. Felt felt pretty good. Just watch your Larry win vid. Nice. Yeah, it was a good one, wasn't it? It's a good game. What's up, Wilbo? Good to see ya. Rolling in close up of Alfie rolling in Fox shit, yeah. Is Alfie quicker than you in a sprint? Um, I think we're pretty evenly matched. When he's running, if I run around with him in the park and I sprint as fast as I can, we're probably about at a similar speed. But that's like when I'm not really warmed up. So, you know, I reckon if I, you know, if I'd stretched out and, you know, put me running shoes on, I'd, I'd have a chance. He's pretty quick. He doesn't look like he'd be quick. I don't know why. I think he's just so fluffy. He just looks like he's going to be a little slow boy. But he's, he's pretty fast. Where are the boys? It's got very quiet here. I think there's someone up top still. No? Oh, there's a dead guy at the top of the stairs over there. Oh, hello. Hello! Oh, what's up, Python? How you doing? I run a couple of times a week, usually do three miles. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's good to get out. It's three miles, like 5k. There were so many lads who dropped here.
So, ja. Can hear a boy now. Could have done with the med. Oh, this one. When's Alfie's birthday? Um, June. 15th of June. He'll be two. He's nearly two. My boy! They grow up so fast! I kind of thought there'd be more action at boot camp, not gonna lie. Seems very static, doesn't it? Ah, uh, what's up, Sinful Rumble? How you doing? Just people sort of drop on a building and then stay there, really. There is a guy running around downstairs somewhere. I think most of the viewers didn't get the memo about the early start. Yeah, I mean, they generally don't. Um, you know, people are creatures of habit, I think. Uh, so I think we'll probably stick with the 1 p.m. for the rest of the week. Because uh, I think most people just miss out when we do the early one anyway, don't they? Um, but also, you know, keep in mind a lot of viewers are from the US, so it's pretty early in the US for a lot of people. Are the load times any quicker in the morning? Uh, um, the matchmaking times are about as slow as they have been over the last week, really, for me. They tend to get a little bit quicker throughout the day. Uh, what's up, Dutch Gunner? How you doing? 8 a.m. on the East Coast, yeah. So West Coast is pretty pretty crazy early. I would say bots have made times longer. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You're drinking an iced coffee from Duncan. Nice, nice. Hey, we've got Aaron Gall. Look at that, in the first hour of the stream as well. It's a little PUBG miracle. We've been blessed. What time do the bots usually get on? Oh, they're, uh, they're committed, mate. They're always so... <laughs> they never rest. They never rest. What's up, Zuprian? How you doing? Why are bots making the load time longer? Shouldn't it be shorter? Um, bots are, um... Delta, thank you for the 100 bits. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um... Bots make the load times longer because the game is trying to split out players who are experienced and players who are not experienced into separate lobbies and then fill those out with bots. Um, so it's actually, that's why it's taking longer for matchmaking. Which is, um, you know, kind of, kind of a shame. Oh, there's no vehicle. No vehicle anywhere. 
Anything? I think I'm right underneath me. Sometimes getting on this corner. Don't screw me, Erangel. Come on, just give me one there. Oh, God. I hate you so much. There's a buggy, like, way over there. Let's try and get that one. Let's try and get that buggy, I guess. We sort of bailed on the crate game compound. There was a guy going there. Uh, Anthony, how you doing? You've been seeing a lot more bots in solos this weekend. Oh, that guy's going... Is he going for the buggy? Don't you go for that buggy, man. I will knock you out. <laughs> I mean, he's not driving it yet. Hopefully he's just looting those houses. It's not a bad circle for a crate game either. It's not, it's not the worst. Let's see if we can get a gun. <laughs> Anything we can hurt someone with? Nope. Okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's just a little unarmed Erangel game. Oh shit, hello. He looks pretty funny in the distance, doesn't he? I'm just trying to shoot him. Do you reckon they're bots? I feel like this guy might be a bot. I think that guy is a bot. That's a, that's a bot in the water there. <laughs> Just chilling. <laughs> What's going on? There's another bot. There's so many bots. There's another guy. Look, they're just everywhere. Let's get them, boys. They got the stairs. This guy's got an Uzi. Single tapping an Uzi. Possibly a bot. All right, give me your give me your Uzi. Then we'll go and run over the other guy. This is how you get looted. Just run over some bots. Oh. This guy's right by the water, which makes it a bit tricky. Is that guy gone in that building? What are you doing? See you later. <laughs> what are you swimming for? Silly bot, what are you doing? Okay, we've got that guy up there. Hang on, I've got to loot this guy. I'll be right with you. I don't know if he killed the other one that was swimming. Oh, mate, look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. He had two M4s, that bloke. My ass, did he loot those. Apparently, they can swim. Look at that, yeah. Do you reckon this, this, this other lad's still here? Oh, mate. I'm so good at this game. Look at all these early kills I'm getting. I can't believe how good at PUBG I am. Three kills already. Oof, boy. I mean, we should go and look at his crate, really. They all seem to have stuff, don't they? Cheers, mate. Very nice. It's a shame he didn't have any... Um... Uh, like a helmet would have been good. Just doing his missions, leave him alone. Yeah, <laughs> swim five meters doing the backstroke. Unlock a novelty hat. All right, where did this other bot botty boy go? It's all ran over here, didn't he? Could be anywhere. It's quite hard to predict their actions. I thought I saw something down there. Looking for movement. Bot spotted. <laughs> Hello. You're not even a bot. Oh, he wasn't a bot. <laughs> Stadia player? Gotta be a Stadia, right? Oh, there's the crate. Look at that. Is that the first one? Seems uh, seems late. Pretty close, though. I 
Come on, get over this bumpy bit and we can go fast again. There we go. This game is so PUBG, isn't it? Isn't it? How you doing, Borderholic? Oh, come on, come on, come on. It's sure PUBG. Who has a field that is so bumpy? Why would you not have your field a nice, like, flat bit of land, right? Have your bike actually. That wasn't a bot. We're gonna gilly up and everything, why not? Go nuts. Just last bullet. <laughs> There's a lad running there. Got a scope? Mm, not really. But, <laughs> is it a bot? Who knows? Guy had a flare, oh my god. He's not started shooting yet. I'm guessing he's not a bot, but... Did he just go straight? Oh, he has gone crate for the crate. Not a bot. Hey, buddy. Uh, what do we need? We can do with an AR suppressor. Not that it really matters. We're kind of we're kind of good, aren't we? A bit more sevens. Yeah, definitely more sevens. We got the flare to use. Do the bots end up with crate weapons ever? I don't think so. I don't think they take stuff off anyone's body and they don't loot crates. How you doing, Lulu? Bit of a mess over here, isn't it? What's going on? That's the third lad that's rocked up on a motorbike that we've shot within about 10 foot. Look at these bikes we're collecting. Sure. Um, we'll take the eight, I guess. Bit of smoke. Need more ammo. Yep, nice. Let's just use the eight. It'll be fine. Um... Okay. Sure. <laughs> Might as well just stay here. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be the place to be, doesn't it? Oh, he had a six. Oh, I love this dude so much. Holy shit. That is my favorite player in the history of PUBG. Let's just have one of these. Why not? Drive around and look for more lads, I guess. Um, good for ammo and everything, aren't we? Okay. Really, it's a... Yeah, I mean, we got a flare. We can try and get an orm or something, I suppose, can't we? Oh, hey, glider. Oh, don't do that! Would have been a way to go, wouldn't it? Get by the buggy so he can't do that. We can get on a vehicle, we can block him. Is he going to try again? Oh, I thought he might. That was very close to getting run over by the glider there. Go on, have another crack, mate. Have another crack. It's impressive flying. What's up, DP? How you doing, Lulu? Great to see you. Subway Shane, how you doing? No grenade equipped. Thank you very much. I think this guy's off skis.
It was a nice try. Yeah, I didn't really anticipate. I thought, no, he's not going to try it, is he? And then he just swung it in late. Should have. If I'd been more sensible, we would have got near a vehicle so we can get in it, and then you're kind of safe from being run over. But PUBG Maverick, what's up, Chief? How you doing? We'll just drive around and look for more lads, I guess. We can call in a flare at some stage. That'll probably draw in some some boys. Go into the next circle. I guess we'll bump into like the next wave of bots. That's kind of how they work, right? Something like that. Morpheus, dude, thank you very much for the gifted sub to Eddie boy. Cheers, Morpheus. Appreciate it. There's my mate. Um, actually, let's go over the other way. I hate fighting on this hill. It's awful. So many angles of, to be shot at from all these different buildings and just loads of tiny little trees to hide behind. Not a bot. And sometimes, it, I mean, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. I'm pushing everyone as if they were a bot. And, you know, sometimes that works out. Sometimes it's going to get you killed, I think. Who is... Oh, he's in that window. I see him. He's up there. Pretty sure I saw him up there. I was gonna get some sevens off that guy's body, but uh, yeah, it was there because that window smashed. Oh, he's back. I mean, still keep thinking about it. Oh, he's there again. There now. Not very confident, is he? Some fancy it. Where's my bike? Let's um get ourselves out of here. This is uh I might bait him to peek as well, a bit of smoke. Oh, I thought that was it. I just wanna get my bike safe so I can use it. Where is it? Wrong, wrong bit. There we go. Get the flare up. Yeah, we could flare up, I suppose, couldn't we? Um, get away from this dude slightly and then we'll do it. Uh, what's up? The cheat. How you doing? Maybe try and bring it down like in this little area here. Bad time to do that. Uh, what's up, old guy? How you doing? Push everything. Yeah, it's, you know, the streamer approach, right? Just push everything. Yeah, pretty unlucky. Pretty unlucky. I got Aaron Gould twice in a row yesterday. Thought I'd won the lottery. Oh, maybe it'll happen now. We had it once last week, I think. Two in a row. Getting one Aaron Gould game in the first hour of the stream is pretty, pretty good going. I'll take that. I'll take that. Vic Candy. 
How was the pie at the weekend? It was excellent, thank you. It came out really well. I hadn't made a pie for a little while. Um, I made a chicken and chicken bacon and mushroom pie yesterday from scratch. It came out really nice. Uh, we had it with some like creamed leeks uh, and some peas and some roast potatoes. I did rather mashed. We fancy some roasties. Why is there trees here? There's just a tree here now. How about that? That's new. These bits are new. Uh, yeah, it came out really nicely. He was very happy with it. Nicely seasoned, nice texture. Yeah, it was good. Apart from the mushrooms, that sounds amazing. Oh man, the mushrooms are great. I know they're quite, you know, it's one of those like love or hate things, right? But uh, Brian dropping the five bomb, dude. Thank you so much. First sax phone of the week. Brian getting himself in there on the leaderboard. Classic Brian. Classic Brian. I wish time was longer. Alan Walker did a great job. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? I, yeah, I kind of, I wish there was like a longer version of it. It'd be awesome. I guess it's quite a short track. I, I would be definitely down for like a eight minute <laughs> epic you know, extended version of that track. Cheers, Brian. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's a really good track. It was nice to be able to do like a song promotion thing with like a track that I liked and with two artists that I like as well. You know, we were talking about them last week. Alan Walker did some like classic stuff on no copyright sounds back before he got really big, um, which people used to use for YouTube videos and stuff. And so we kind of came across him when we very first started on YouTube and finding music to put on like tutorial videos and stuff and that's where fade was and that became faded and and then you know and then he got massive and obviously Hans Zimmer is a living legend you gave the wife ideas with deep fried scamorza yeah seriously try it it was one of my favorite things they ever had um on the menu at this Italian restaurant I used to work at I used to work at Carluccio's when I was 17 to about 20 something like that for those in the UK, Carlucho is like an Italian chain. But one of the specials they sometimes had was deep fried scamorza. Scamorza is cheese that Brian had on a burger at the weekend. It looked amazing. But it, they just get one of those big, it comes on those slightly funny shaped blobs. I don't know if it always does, but it almost like a like a gourd shaped blob, you know, a wide bit and a narrow bit. Um, but yeah, they just like breadcrumbed it and deep fried it. And oh my God, deep fried cheese is just deep fried tree cheese in breadcrumbs. Works really well for Scamorza, so would recommend. Delta, thank you very much for extending your tier one sub. Appreciate it, mate. Appreciate it. Why did it do it twice? Sure. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh yeah, and um um what was the the the, the 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 pig you had as well. What is, was it now? I can't remember. Mangalista. I, yeah, I hadn't heard of it until quite recently. And then I saw a couple of programs, cooking programs. And uh, they were talking about Mangalista pigs and Mangalista pork and saying how it's like the best. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I've ever had it. Probably not. But uh, unless I've had it in a posh restaurant without knowing. But it sounded very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, the pie was excellent. We had a lovely pie yesterday. There's a load of it left in the fridge. I was going to have some for lunch, but I was still full up from the weekend, to be honest. So I had some toast. Uh, but I've got half a pie in the fridge to nibble on throughout the week. And then on Saturday, we had our Mexican feast. We cooked up a whole load of lovely Mexican things. Did pork pibil, which was like slow cooked in the slow cooker for eight or nine hours. Um, sort of Mexican pulled pork kind of stuff. We had like homemade flatbreads, homemade guac, homemade refried beans homemade um like pink onions it was really really nice margaritas mojitos it was good normally we go to we really like eating at oaxacas which is like a mexican chain in the uk that's really good um but obviously we can't go because nothing's open so um you know we we thought we'd celebrate by uh having a having a meal at home and it was really nice and just fun to cook as well. I really like cooking. Still waiting for the bearded chef content. Yeah, maybe one day. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, if I can use it as a justification to, like, buy nice ingredients and 
cook nice meals for me and the missus. I'm sure she's not going to complain. Good Ben, taking in the sun rays in the garden and watching Death by Beard. Nice. Oh, it's so nice outside today, Ditchy. So nice here. It's going to be nice all week, which means it's going to be sweaty in here. Get a sponsor for a gourmet deli. <laughs> Could do with a YouTube sponsor. Need to like reach out to some people. It's pissing it down up north. Oh nice. What's up Kev? <laughs> How you doing? Maybe we'll get nicer later in the week. Your Mexican food inspired me to drink a bunch of Mexican beers yesterday. Ah, happy to be, you know... Such an inspiration to you, Morpheus. What I strive for. You could make music themed things like deep fried Scar Morza. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I see what you did there. See what you did there. Yeah, the southern style quinoa covered chicken wasn't that great, to be honest. Ah, disappointing. Disappointing. Got myself a bottle of Maker's Mark. Very nice, very nice. According to my forehead, top of my head and neck, I got too close to the sun over the weekend. <laughs> Looked like a tomato. Good work. Good work. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't too crazy sunny here. I didn't get burnt. Just went for a long ass run on uh, on Sunday. Hillsy, thank you for the twenty month resub. Cheers, Hillsy. How you doing, mate? Thank you for the support. Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, let's like we'll do this, right? This is the combo. This is the combo that everyone talks about. This guy. Don't need that. It's a show-off gun there. Anything above 25 degrees? Does class is hot here? Yeah. For sure. For sure. What is hot weather in the UK? Humid? Oh, um, I, I would say... Well, I'd say 25 degrees is, like, really hot. Because that's... It, I mean, in, when we had the heat wave last year, there was times when it would hit 30 or low 30s C which is really rare, quite rare for the UK. Um, that's stupidly hot. I'd say 25 is like, wow, this is this is really hot. Um, and, you know, to be anything above 15 degrees, people are like, you know, walking around with the tops off and in shorts and flip-flops. So, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like 18 to 20 degrees upwards, I'd probably say is, I'd be like, it's nice weather. The summer conversations, yeah, and in a minute, people will be like, that's not hot. Where I am, it goes to this hot, this much hot. That's not hot at all, you pussies. You don't even, you don't even know what hot is over there, idiots. That's what someone will say. Should go back to food instead. It's probably just as controversial, to be honest. And then in the winter, I'll be like, oh, it's a bit cold today. And someone will be like, cold? That's not cold. It's minus 39 here. What are you talking about? It's not cold at all. I'm like, sorry. I didn't mean to say it's cold. I'm sorry. Apologize. Then we'll talk about air conditioning. And then some, like, igloos. People take their weather seriously. They do. People are, like, get very nationalistic about their weather, I think. In, like, you know, it's like sports teams. They get this passion there. It's passion. Anything above 15 in the UK and you'll see topless men everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Soft boiled eggs 
and soldiers for lunch. Is soldiers a UK thing or do our friends from overseas use that term too? I'd be pretty surprised if they did, but I'm not sure I've ever asked. Dippy egg and soldiers? You guys <laughs> know what we're talking about here? <laughs> Where you cut up bits of toast into like little rectangles and dip them in a, in a runny egg. We do not use it. You're very welcome to start using it. I think you'd I think you'd be a better country for it. If there's one thing that was badly missing from the US Constitution, it specifically relates to dipping eggs, dipping small pieces of toast cut into rectangles into into runny eggs. Pop it in. Chuck it in his amendment, right? He's got a few amendments. I've heard of them. Chuck some more amendments in there. Amendment the sixth. Have you got a sixth one in there? We've all heard about the fourth and the fifth. The sixth is probably free, right? Dippy eggs and soldiers. That can be the sixth amendment. There you go. If there is already a sixth one, just scrap it because no one's heard of it. So it must be rubbish. Um, do we want a 4x? No, I think 3x is good for a um, an MP5. Ben's platform for the US presidency. Yeah, I'm making my pitch. I'm planting, planting seeds. I've just got to beat Joe Exotic. Dippy eggs and marines doesn't sound quite as appealing. <laughs> Sounds vaguely sexual. What's sexual about dippy, dippy eggs? There's nothing sexual in it, Brian. It's your dirty mind. So dirty. Good weather's worth getting passionate about. Yeah, that's fair. Joe Exotic, Ben Erotic. I like it. What's up, Chris? How you doing? <laughs> I'm in. I can't run for president. We've got enough of our own shit over here. Don't I can't come over and deal with America's shit as well. <laughs> got our own shit. I just want to stay at home. And hide. Which is convenient because that is literally what we're meant to do right now. Anything above 20 degrees and we all just walk around naked. That's the spirit. Naked as the day we were born. How you doing, Lorsky? What's up, Criminy? Good to see you, mate. Hope you had a good weekend. Plimp, thank you very much for the 22-month resub. Just Plimpy. How you doing? How's your weekend? A car. It's not as spicy as that start to that last Erringal game, was it? We just, we got so many early bot kills and then so many just weird kills in that game. Ben seems like a cool cat and kitten. Thanks, Lucas. What can I say? Well, someone's shot that window out. Someone's been here. I thought I heard a lad, but it's a train. Let's jump onto the train. Quickly. Oh. Next time. What's up, Viv? How you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Still rushed that a bit. Didn't really need to. What's up, Pidge? How you doing? <laughs> nice to see you. I just, I can't stand watching it though, Tom. I think like, just year after like, spending my 20s like, being quite emotionally invested, like, in politics has just like, ru ruined me as a person and now I just, just, just ignore everything, pretty much. <laughs> I'll just be nice to people and, you know, tick a box every few years when they ask me to. And crack on. Just slightly off. We were pretty close. What are you saying? I'd like to see you do better and like, you know, actually land on the train. We did do that last week, didn't we? It was a great weekend. Unfortunately, now the girlfriend wants me to make pulled pork after I showed her your pibble. Oh, mate, it's great though. You'll love it. It'd be worth it. It'd be worth it. Totes worth it.
Yeah, fair play. It's like jousting. For the sake of sanity, you have to dial out or you go mad. Yeah, exactly. I think you have a certain like, amount of years in which you can give a fuck about things throughout your life. And then you have to just roll back a bit. Otherwise, you just lose your, lose your marbles. Uh, how's the lobby population been? I don't know. I haven't looked, to be honest. We had a game on Erangel where I just managed to find a load of bots really early. I saw them dropping and well, I saw them just scamping around while I was looking for a vehicle for a crate game. And we drove around and like ran over four bots instantly. But uh, I don't know what the percentages have been. The, the matchmaking times have been that kind of a bit slower than they were previously, but gradually getting a little bit better as the day goes on. The first couple of matches took a good few minutes. Um, let's have a look at my last few games. Erangel was... That was only 21% bots. There were 21 bots in the Erangel game. It's just that I managed to kill four of them right at the start. We got the most kills in that game as well. I came 36th, 35th with nine kills. The guy who won had six. I had the most kills. <laughs> Competitive field today on PUBG. Oh, Karakin. We've had a nice mix of maps, in fairness to the rotation that I moan about a lot. Uh, we have had lucked out with a... Not with many Erangles. We've only had one Erangle, but we've had a pretty good mix of maps. We've had a game on every map now in an hour and a half, so... Um, yeah, I haven't felt like I've had any weird bugged-out bot lobbies. 21 in that one. My Sanok first game, 21. Yeah, so 21 bots. 20, 21 pretty consistently. Have you ever played Hunt Showdown? Yeah, I have. We played it a few times, actually. It was pretty good fun. We haven't played it for quite a while, but um, yeah, me and Lamb had a little, little dabble in it. Maybe no one wanted to play yesterday. Yeah, I didn't try and get on. I don't often play at the weekends, though, I guess. The problem with making it means we'll be eating it for a week. Yeah, we had a ton left. We had some for lunch yesterday, and we got a load in the freezer as well. I dropped under the plane on Vikendi yesterday. Jeez, it was a duck hunt. Yeah, dropping under the plane is the way to find the earlies, because you'll see, like, the line of them form dropping down. There's not too many, but there's two there, one there. Yeah, not so many I can see in this one, but let's try and land somewhere where we... It isn't a lad. Shoulder or belly for Pibble? Uh, shoulder. I use shoulder. Because it's pretty much just uh, like pulled pork, right? So just Mexican pulled pork. Hey. I'm surprised no one tries to shoot them, root shoot randomly so the bots go to them. Yeah, I don't know if that really, um, wor it, it works like that in PUBG Mobile. I'm not sure they quite work like that in, um, console. You got 15 chicken dinners in a row yesterday. Wow, that is pretty, pretty silly. I mean, that's the state of PUBG now, I suppose, isn't it? Uh, sadly. Um, I kind of don't really want the M249, to be honest. So were you finding you got a crazy amount of bots in your squad games? Or were you playing FPP, like lobbies that normally wouldn't be populated well? Or did you have crossplay turned off or anything? Or was that just, was that with 20% bots? I haven't really played much squads. Is that a tax stock? No, it's a gun. <laughs> I love the helmet though. Bots have stayed steady 20% 20, 20 for me in squads. Uh, nice. Yeah, mine have been very consistently at 20%, but I, you know, almost always played uh, solos and a little bit of duos with Larry's, so very little squad play.
Yesterday I had to jump off because games only have 40-ish players on all day. Shit. It's all popping off, isn't it? It's all popping off. How is Larry? Not seen him for a minute. Oh, you could go and catch up with him on YouTube, mate. He's in a... In a YouTube video today. Mm, who am I? <laughs> um, okay. I guess if we go and fire off one of these, come back, you know, get the other one, right? Get on, get on the roof, go for a long range. Oh, this guy. Oh, that was close. Oh, shit, he really hurt me though, didn't he? Didn't realise he'd shot me quite so much. Go get the other one. Man, that's unlucky. I think we were pretty close. Shit, where did I... Oh, I've gone all the way wrong. This is the wrong... Hang on. It was right next to me where I came out, wasn't it? What's up, Derek? How you doing? Watching Bahrain again. Nice, nice. Got another one for you, buddy. Can we get on the roof, like, from here, maybe? Does make you kind of vulnerable. Sounds like a bot. Hello! Oh, hey, airdrop. You go in there? Are you next to... Oh, you're down there. Hello, buddy. Ah, oh, come on! That's a bot, right? All right. That's Faust! Keep him coming! Hey, there we go. It wasn't a bot. <laughs> Someone else shot me then. We might not make this. Third time's the charm. Feel like I got shot from over there. Got that one, didn't we? Whoa! Easy. I think this guy had the crate as well. Yep. Uh. Hang on, mate. Kind of, kind of want his M16, I suppose. What's up, Spong? How you doing? How you doing? You just chilling there? We pretend we're looting this guy. There we go. Tendy Looty. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, we're good. Um, let's get over to this compound, maybe. Yeah, let's do this. Forex Grozer, yeah, the, the classic, right? It's a funny looking helmet. It's just solid orange. I think it's because of the, um, the glow. It's like a bug with the glowing thing, I guess. Oop. Uh, 
Um, right, okay. Let's go find a lad and change loadout a little bit, I think. I think we got one of those, right? Yeah. I just, I mean, we could, we could 4x the, it's maybe the 4x is better off the other way round. I don't know. It's, I kind of like the 3x on the MP5, not so much the 4. It'll be fine. Well, there's a lad. Gonna sneak up and like take someone's canine. Ah, uh, what's up, Pub Brothers? How you doing? Oh, hello. Sorry, you just you just chilling there. I'm a coming. It kind of makes sense doing it this way round whilst we have low sevens, I suppose. Not sure looking behind me IRL is going to help the situation. Um, what do we got in this power? power blah, 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 blah. He's got. Ooh. Uh... Let's do this and this and that. Oh, didn't you have a this guy? Um, yeah, he doesn't really have any um, sevens for me, so. We'll, we'll do this. I don't know why I decided this is a good idea, but it's what we're doing. It's what we're doing. I threw a few dinners yesterday trying to pan no scope people. That's fair. I mean, it gets to the stage. We've, I think we've talked about this before. It's a bit like it's like a drug habit or something, right? Where you're, you know, it used to be that chicken dinner was enough. Just a chicken dinner itself, that is enough to, you know, get get you excited, get the people watching excited. But now, now a simple chicken dinner doesn't cut it. Now, now it's got to be a chicken dinner with like a crazy amount of kills, a no scope 360 finish with a pan. You know, you got to do doing a backflip on a bike. Whilst getting a quad kill in solos with one grenade for the dub, you know. That's what you got to do to get people, get people going these days. They need more. What I'm saying is basically you're all like drug users. That's what I'm, what I'm suggesting here. But like in a good way. I totally get what you're saying. <laughs> Sorry, is it too, too relatable? The gas cans will feed us, that's true. I mean, the gas can changes look really cool, don't they? I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be a laugh. Another dead guy, might have some sevens. Thank you. Nah. SLR would be great, but uh, we don't really have the ammo. Like, at, this, at least this way, if we fire off all of the Grozer ammo, we can still get by. Can just run the MP5. We have become desensitized to chicken. Hello. Oh, he's got a lad coming up on him. That boy. I think that was a bot. He had a bot name. I don't think it was a bot. Too sneaky for a bot. Busy over here, innit? There's a lad here. There he is.
Oh uh, no, I'm gonna die! Oh. Annoying. GG. Uh, what's up, Suds Deluxe? How you doing? Beer fridge, great to see you, mate. We can do customs and write TBG in fire. Yeah, we can do that. That'd be pretty good. That's unlucky. You just killed Destroik, which means the bush. Nice, nice. The three vests saved him. Yeah, he tanked it a bit. We missed a few shots and uh, dropping off the rock kind of screwed us a little bit. We had to kind of push in like a bit of a maverick because we were getting shot in the ass by the other dude. Any word on when ranked mode is coming to console? No, not at the moment. Um, they've uh, It's on the PC test servers. So I'd expect it to come to console within a week or two, really. We're normally a week or two behind. How the hell do I find the turntables? I think you only get them on Erangel. Uh, and they just kind of look like briefcases. I think they're only on Erangel. Might be wrong. What level is your Panzerfaust? Can you even... Is the Panzerfaust on Weapon Mastery? I guess it's not, but I feel it should be. You get my Miramar too? Okay. What's up, Beast of Man? How you doing? It's not? Oh, that's disappointing, man. Yeah, blue briefcases. That's it. How was my weekend? It was excellent, thanks. Ate loads of really nice food. You know, couldn't go out and do much apart from running and walking the dog, but uh, we ate a lot of nice food, so I enjoyed that. North George is good for them. I do tend to find them in those like H buildings in George and in Yasa quite a lot. I've found them. Yeah, I'd have to agree there. If it was, where would you attach the charm? Who knows, mate? Who knows? But that'd be awesome if you could. Would love that. Attach a sticky bomb to a friend's pan for extra throwing range. Does that work? That doesn't work, surely. What's the point of the broken discs in cardboard boxes? Um, it unlocks, like, community rewards, like... Cosmetic items that everyone can use when like X amount of them get collected by the community or something. Hey Chewy, how you doing? Nice to see you. Can you pick them up via just X yet? Uh, I don't know. How's your weekend, Chewy? I saw talk of the Friday VOD getting deleted. Did it get deleted in the end? Or was it? did it meet the <laughs> professional stamp of approval? I didn't manage to catch any of it. But it always entices me to check it out when there's talk of the VOD getting deleted. That means it was a good one. Big Power always has one in the outer warehouses. Yeah, I can't remember seeing one in the warehouses at Big Power, I must say. Um... But, um, you got to get Aaron Wall as well, right? So, good luck with that. Undeleted and unprofessional. <laughs> What's up, Prof? How you doing? Do I play GTA? Um, not really recently. We used to play it a bit. 
Then I heard ranked will only be Eringal, Miramar and Sanok. That is correct. That is correct. Uh, and also squads only. Where are we going? Just kind of jumped out, really. Abbey. Cave. We can get a Bolty in the cave, right? Let's go in the cave. Correct. Nova Kendi. Is the cave still here? Oh, we're gonna. There's the entrance. We're gonna drive a thing into it and see what happens. Cleaned out my front porch lamp yesterday. So many spiders in there, it's like Shellob's lair. <laughs> nice. Didn't the cave move? Don't know. I haven't really tried to go in there. I don't know if they got rid of it on the redesign. Where am I? Have I just driven. It's like here was one. I think I just went past one of the entrances up there, but we'll go around here. It's still there. Hmm. <laughs> this might be problematic. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Well, there is the other cave. Well, it's not only a cave, but the other underground bit is um, under the, like, train train cargo train like yard in the northeast man this doesn't handle well in the snow who'd have thought uh it's i think it's this bit isn't it ow there we go we got bow action <laughs> job done what's up dark lyrus how you doing we have a breach. There we go, loadout sorted. Yeah, happy Monday to you too. What's my favorite gun? Uh, I like the AWM. That is my favorite gun. And the Uzi. Those are my favorite guns. Let me want that. We got a shotty. That's so much stuff. So we just want to, we want this helmet. We want a better scope. We want a bit of sevens. I don't have a bag on. Did not pick up a bag. You. Uh, what's up, Blue Collar? How you doing? You heard someone go in, so you followed them in. <laughs> yeah, it's... um. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff down here. We found a few MP5s, barrels, one M24, loads of ammo. You know, it's pretty... Pretty decent. Haven't found, like, any level 3 gear yet. Couple of vert grips. Couple of Uzis. That's the only scope we found. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not... It doesn't feel... I think there's just a lot of loot spawns in one area. It does feel like slightly... It's not like bottom tier loot, I would say. But uh, it's not amazing. I'm going to take this. I find... Or should we go DBS? Go DBS. It does that silent reload thing. Look, is he doing the animation still? I think he was. Pretty sure he was. Yeah, so it was only the M24. Oh, no, there was another M24. Should we get, like, two M24s? Let's do that. It's novel. Um, cool. Maybe we need a bit more ammo. I mean, do you think we're going to fire this more than 89 times? Hold on to your butts. 
We should probably put the extended on the uh, the close range one, shouldn't we? <clears throat> there we go. Sorted. I think it's this way we came in, right? I really like that DBS skin. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Hey, Avocado, how you doing? I'm using an unfamiliar computer this morning instead of searching for the Beard Guys. I searched PUBG Xbox, and the Beard Guys was the first result. Nice. It's because I wrote it as literally the first two words of the stream title. Glad it worked out. Hey, Treadstone, how you doing? Um... Let's just go for a walk. We'll go for a walkies. Find some boys. Oh, what's up, Infected? How you doing? Usually I say the Scar is my favourite, but the Ump has been good to me recently. I haven't really used the Ump since they made changes to it. Not not much. I've always... I've, I like the Scar a lot. The Scar's been fun. The AK, I like... I mean, there's a lot of guns I like, I guess, though. Who are Alan and Hans? Uh, if you do the time command, it will tell you. Alan Walker and Hans Zimmer. How you doing, Chief? Oh, hey, come on. There's no need. Him, we all just get along. Over there somewhere. Ump 9 was the bomb. Ump 45 is like a sparkler. Well, it got buffed though, didn't it? They buffed the old... The old umpy. What's my least favourite gun? Ooh. Oh, that's a better question. Um, What do I really, really hate using? I mean, I mean, I, I don't like using the ump too much. I don't like using the barrel too much, but I got a win with it the other day. What do I moan about the most? I moan about the mini a lot, but I actually use it quite a lot and do quite well with it. <laughs> I just get, I think I get stressed out with the mini. But I still actually do quite well with it. Mutant. Yeah, maybe the mutant. When we got, they had to do the mutant skin challenges. Like, we had some good games with it, but I haven't really touched it since. I guess you got to discount the pistols, right? They don't recount. I don't like... Oh, yeah, the QBU I'm not a fan of using, really. It's okay. Yeah, the ump got buffed in, what, like, the last update, I think? Can't stand the SKS... Yeah, I'm not biggest. I'm not a huge fan of the SKS at the moment, but I feel I used to use it pretty effectively, so I feel a bit bad, you know, knocking it. <laughs> Boss, you trust? Thank you so much for the 18 month resub. Cheers, mate. Appreciate the support. How you doing? Hope you had a nice weekend. Thank you for the year and a half. Year and a half from Boss. Just on a bike ride. Nice. Have a good time, mate. Have a good time. Haven't really seen many lads, have we?
Not fan of slow lobbing rounds. The SLR, oh mate, the SLR is an absolute beautiful gun. I love the SLR. What's up, Liz Rohe, how you doing? Could you try the P18C? It's like a mini Scorpion. Yeah, I've never really used it much. The Scorpion was pretty fun for like some novelty games. Takes a lot, oh hello. Takes a lot of bullets to kill people, but... Might be a bot. He does a level 3, but... Oh, not a bot. Um, He had level 3 because you can pick up level 3 on uh, the ground on this map. The bots can have it. Although we we're starting to get dubious over where the bots actually pick stuff up. Or if they just kind of run around and, you know, stuff appears. But either way... We got a nice level 3 helmet off that lad. Thank you very much. Got a pan. Got plenty of ammo. Nice. Well, that helmet will come in useful. And we did manage to not shoot a minute, which was nice. <laughs> Shot his pan. <laughs> God's sake. Come on. Ugh, should have been it. Where are you going? He sort of got himself in a better position now, or I can't quite quite do that so effectively. Tempted to, I can't really I was gonna rotate around there, but it's a, I just don't wanna if we can keep the engagement at a slight distance, we've got a better chance. If he gets him really close, it's going to be a struggle. He's going to think you're a bot. Well, I don't think bots have snipers, though, do they? They shoot weirdly, but they wouldn't, you know, I don't think you could confuse this movement with bots, right? We'll try and keep our distance. Another lad coming in. Really? We can't just walk over that? <laughs> Haven't seen any sign of him for a while. Is this guy driving along the bottom? Yeah, I think so. No idea if this guy, like, fell back or is just chilling on that rocks. Is this here a guy? He's right here. I feel like he went around the back of the house, but could be anywhere now. Get some distance up. Back to the snipe battle. Yeah, that's a good little fight. I'm just trying to keep that distance so it's going to be easier to, uh, to play it out. Who's this guy? Oh, that's the level the dude I shot. I was going to say pop, but he wasn't a bot, was he? I see him. He just peeked that. There he is. Bad shot. There's 
to hit. And that's PUBG. I usually quit out Karakin lobbies. We had one Karakin today. It was kind of okay. It was kind of okay. It's a shame we're having a nice fight with that guy. It was nice to get to play against a decent player. And he gets shot in the ass. Shot in the ass. What's up, Pappy? How you doing? Needed six pans on the back, yeah. Karakin is fun when you use all the stupid guns like Noob Tube and DBS. Yeah, I don't mind playing on Karakin. It's, you know, it's fine. I'd rather play on Erangel, but I'd rather play on Erangel than any of the other maps. I don't have anything particularly against Karakin than I do on, you know, I don't dislike it any more than I do any of the other maps, I don't think. Uh, what's up, Ron G? How you doing? Rangy. Well, we've had one Erin so far today. Fingers crossed we can get another one. Come on, let's get an Erangel game. Let's get an Erangel game. Karakin's good for quick games. Yeah, it was perfect for that. It's a shame you can't select it. If you wanted to just jump on PUBG and you're like, oh, I've got half an hour, I want to jump on and play PUBG, being able to play it Karakin was so perfect for that, but unfortunately you can't select it. So that, if that's how you play the game, you can't play it anymore. Pappy is good. Excellent, excellent. What's up, lovers of Gamble? How you doing? Chaos Theory, how you doing? After listening to Hans Zimmer, I'm going to have to watch Inception again. <laughs> nice. Nice. What's up, Slay Bob? How you doing? Mexican Goomba, how you doing? Kylie, how you doing? Nice to see you. I hope you had a good one. Gonna give PUBG on Stadia a try. Maybe at some stage. That's the one theory. Karakin squads is pure third party, though. I mean, Karakin any mode is pure third party, right? We've been playing Karakin in customs with four to six players, and it's so much fun. Nice. I can imagine. Well, just, yeah, just a few people that you know. Yeah, I can imagine that's a laugh. It's just got a nice pace of game for, like, small lobbies. Seem to be a lot of new players now. Yeah, I think so. I'm certainly seeing a lot of new Stadia players as well. Yesterday I got a 22 kill game and lost it trying to pan the last guy. Didn't care. <laughs> Sunday was a great day for lobbies. Really enjoyed the Lamb Karakin bot game. Yeah, that was a good one for the old YouTube, wasn't it? With well, the 62 <laughs> 
bot lobby we got. Can't wait for Ranked. I hate the bots with a passion. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm kind of excluded from Ranked as a solo player. So we'll have to, I guess, we'll try um, running um, solo squads. But it's not really, it's not solos, is it? You're just going to be getting ruined, I think. Um, Nice. All right, I'm just going to BRB. I'm going to go make a coffee. We're going to go make a lucky coffee. And then hopefully we'll get a game on Aaron Gorm. Gutted, it's just squads. Yeah, me too. Me too. Bibby. Ah, we're back. We're back. So if it's any noise, I'm going to leave the big window open for a minute. It's getting hot. Adding bots to customs would be a nice touch. Yeah, I agree. It would be nice to be able to do that. It'd be kind of fun. As soon as I um, muted the mic and went open the window to go get my coffee, a car drove past playing uh, Stacy's mom really loudly. And now I want to listen to Stacy's mom. <clears throat> Stacy's mom. Bowling for soup or Fountains of Wayne? I think Fountains of Wayne, right? The original, the OG. What music is playing and can you get it on Spotify? Yeah, I, uh, that was um, Barstool Preachers. And yes, they're on Spotify. Barstool Preachers. Excellent band. great tune it's a great tune um i'm kind of waiting i want more games to be announced i want to see some interesting looking games announced particularly for the next gen xbox i feel at the moment there's lots of there was nothing really announced on it that really excited me very much i want to see some stuff get announced that i'm like oh that might be a a fun thing to play on stream we haven't really had any of that yet Oh, Stacy's mom. If only that guy knew where he started. Yeah, I can't believe it. Just cruising past, blasting that out. What a legend. Like the Tony Hawk's remaster is coming out. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Maybe we can be a Tony Hawk streamer. We'll just do that. Eight hours of Tony Hawk every day. It'd be great. Just challenging people at horse. Other than that, though, I don't know. Yeah, we're just kind of waiting for um, Rust to come out. I hope it's decent when it does come out. If we need Rust, or we need like something new from the PUBG studios would be cool on the next gen. I don't know what else would get me excited right now. Scorn looks unreal. What's Scorn? If they did multiplayer score competitions, would be made. Yeah, multiplayer would be cool. Even just having leaderboards so you could just try and beat each other's scores, I guess. Davey! 
Thank you so much for the 17 months, man. Appreciate it. How you doing? How you doing? Mr. OCD, how you doing? Soft Taco Gaming, how you doing? PUBG Remastered. What's up, Mita? How you doing? Could EFT do a console port? Um, I don't know. It doesn't seem likely, I'd say. That was loud. I'll grab my glow sticks. If you're wondering what that sub alert is, the, spon the streams this week and next week are sponsored um, to help promote the release of the Alan Walker remix of uh, Hans Zimmerman's Hans Zimmer's sorry not Zimmerman Hans Zimmer's track uh, Time from Inception. Cheers, Avocado, dropping the sub to Mexican Goomba. Thank you very much, Avo. Appreciate it. There is a um, a command in chat exclamation mark Time. You can hit that. That links you to the track. If you click that link there, uh, the We Hype Three Beard Guys one, you can go and check out where you can hear the full track. Listen to the full mix. Let me know what you think. Duffel Bum, thank you very much for the eighteen month resub. How you doing, Duffel Bum? Great to see you. Oh my god, get a little hype train going off with all this this going on. Avo dropping the sub as well. Gift them one out to Ditchy. Yet another gifty from Avo. Thank you so much, buddy. Coming in thick and fast. Look at this. How's Alfie? He's good. He's just snoozing downstairs. He's snoozing. It's a hot day. Not that he doesn't. He sleeps just as much on cold days, but you know, it's also hot and he's sleeping. Thanks, Holly. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's a shame the gaming companies were not ready for the pandemic. They will need ep epidemiologists on consulting retainers going forward. Slidey Town, thank you very much for the 21 months. Cheers, Slidey. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it? Slidey, great to see you, mate. How's your weekend? Kicking off that hype train. Nice. Look at that. Quick fire round of subs there. Getting it going. Dan, MCC, how you doing? Lovely to see you, mate. Still seeing a very healthy 1k plus subs, which is lovely to see. Thank you for all your support lately. Scorn is a horror game based off H.R. Geiger's artwork. Super realistic looking. Recommend you watch the trailer for it. Noted. Okay, noted. Criminy, thank you for the gifted sub going out to... Looking out for ninja ducks. <laughs> That's looking out for ninja ducks. Excellent name. Scorn. I don't... I can't say I'm familiar with Geiger's art. I do like a cheeky little... Uh, cheeky little horror game, though. Uh, Kylie, thank you very much for the 666 bits. Cheers, Kylie. It's just dance music, mate. Look, if you associate that with Fortnite, that's on you, right? It's on you, Tom. Glad someone is always looking for those pesky ninja ducks. Yeah, I mean, they, you know, they need looking out for. They'll get you. They'll have you. Can't be trusted. That looks, that looks pretty messed up, that Scorn game. We're just looking at pictures. <laughs> Oh, that's a lovely breeze. Holy shit. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Flushing the heat out of the room. We're going to have to bring the air cooler down soon, boys. Boys and girls. Air cooler time. It's nearly upon us. It's going to be 24, 25 this week, which means, I don't know, well hot in here. Speaking of Fortnite, that concert was absolutely gobsmacking. Kylie dropping the five bomb. More gifted subs coming in from Kylie Ray. Thank you so much. 64 gifted on this channel now from Kylie. Ticking us over that tier one on the hype train. Cheeky little Monday hype train going. Can I see some saxophones in chat for Kylie? Dropping the five. Thank you so much. I'm 138 days Fortnite free and I'm proud. <laughs> good work. Good work. Oh, Vikendi. No, I'm still waiting for that Erangel game. We're going to smash out a hype train whilst I'm quitting out lobbies trying to get Erangel. <laughs> this is what the people want to see. <laughs> they don't want to see gameplay. They're not here for gameplay. Who needs it? How far did I run at the weekend? I ran a half marathon yesterday morning. 21k. 
You saw her on YouTube? Yeah, I haven't. They, I've, I heard they've done some of these concerts. I didn't know they'd done another one. I know they did like a mar. Is it, what's he called? Marshmallow, Marshmallow Man, the guy with the marshmallow head, whatever he's called. He did one, didn't he? <laughs> Such a boomer. Uh, Avo, thank you for the gifted sub. Going out to Sinful Rumble, six hundred and thirteen gifted subs from Avo. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate the support. PUBG Xbox, quitting lobbies. Yeah, that's, oh, we didn't press A again. I need, like, can someone make me a macro? Or I'd have to be, like, a little robot arm that just presses A and then quit again over and over until it identifies that we've got air angle. The people just want to run your... Do you want to see you run your fingers through your hair? There's certainly a lot of it at the moment. Changing the subject completely, I just had a delivery of a load of various barbecue meat from a local butcher's. Ready for this nice weather? Oh, nice. Nice. Good shout. Tiger did one. I'm not really familiar with Tiger. Half marathon, you savage. Yeah, well, I hadn't really been running too much. I've been going out like once a week this month, whereas the previous couple of months I've been out running three or four times a week. I'd only been out and done like 6K this week. So I was like, right, the weather's nice. I'll go out and plod around nice and slow. Just see how far. You know, see if I can go far. And I ran a half marathon. It was, yeah, it was very satisfying. Your wife did another 17 miles. Nice, nice. You did seven and a half. Yeah, that's good, that's good. I mean, you know, you don't have to be going out running ridiculous amounts. I just kind of, kind of felt like it really. What else am I going to do? Last night I switched to FPP and it was the only Aragorn game I got. Maybe we could try that. We could like alternate to like FPP, TPP, FPP, TPP, right? I feel like the odds are about the same either way. We're just, we could easily get, you know, if we got lucky, we could get like three Aragorn games in a row, right? I think we're just getting unlucky. Praetorian4, thank you for the drop in the resub 17 months. Thank you so much, Praetorian. Appreciate it. What's your slow pace? Um, that was, I ran, I think, average about maybe 5.45 minute kilometers, something like that, 5.30. I'll have a look. Five thirty five minute 34 kilometers I was running yesterday. Yeah, that's if I'm going like long and slow, I'd say five and a half to six minute kilometers. I'm not sure what that is in miles. I guess that's getting up towards a nine minute mile, maybe. What's a nine minute mile in kilometers? That's six, uh, 535. Hey, that's bang on a five, five minute 35. So that's pretty much bang on a nine minute mile. Uh, what's up, Dark Knight? How you doing? I sprained my ankle on Friday chasing my sister around the garden. Good times. Good work, Dan. So we get ranked on squads only and just three maps. Correct. Correct. Avo dropping us up to Dark Knight. Thank you very much, Avo. Trying to keep that sub train alive. Only 40 seconds left on the level two there. Cheers, Avo. Yeah, I know that, Booth, but it's... Uh, working out the pacing's a little more complicated. In your head. Choo 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 with cracker. We have no meat. Mrs. is veggie, so mustn't be on her shopping list. Oh, damn. Must be awkward. Chance of getting Erringle will always be 20%. I mean, I feel like I've been quite unlucky then. A little bit unlucky. How many lobbies do you think we just done? Avo dropping a sub to Booth. Thank you so much, Avo. Appreciate the support. And that track playing loads. That's what we would like to see. Don't forget to go and check out the full version of the song on Spotify. Uh, whatever platform you use, you can check out the track via that link in the chat command there. We appreciate that. It helps us out. You go and do that. I got pork and apple burgers homemade for dinner tonight. Nice, nice. 
You're in Orpington. Oh, nice. Plenty of builders around here still working, so I can't see why you couldn't get someone in to do your deck. Two of you in Orpington. Nice. Yeah, not too far away. Lived on the cusp of Green Street Green. I know Green Street Green. Avo dropping a sub to It's Bits. Avo just dropping them in today. Look at this. It's just ticking up and up and up. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much. Oh, I like a bit of deck talk. We haven't had deck talk in chat for a while. This is proper adult stuff. I need to put the adult warning on the stream. We're going to be talking about our decks here. When is Russ supposed to come out to console? It said it'd be this year, Jim, but um, not heard anything for a while. I feel it's probably going to end up being quite late this year, if at all this year. Who knows? Loki dropping the 19 months, dude. Thank you very much, Loki. Paul Ray, how you doing, mate? Hope you had a good one. Giordio, how you doing? I'm a vegetarian. Tried vegan, but that's too much. Yeah, I think I could like I could handle like a temporary vegetarianism. I'm not driven to you know have no desire to really do that, but I could see how I could probably make that work. But like vegan is it's too far for me. I think like I couldn't I couldn't lose the cheese, the milk. Be tough. Be tough. What is that sub alert? Please tell us more. The UK is going to have the best painted fences in the world, except mine. I can't find fence paint anywhere. We had some already. We'd bought before the pandemic. So uh, conveniently, we were, uh, we were we lucked out there. Cheers, Bongo. Thank you very much. Glad you enjoy the channel. I mean, I've already... I've painted the garden fence. I've, re I've sanded and... Oh, Sort of cleaned and retreated the deck. Oh my god, we how many <laughs> Is anyone keeping count? I think it's been about fifteen minutes now trying to get an Erangel game. We'll keep it going. I'm down. We're having a nice time. I'm drinking my coffee. We're having a nice chat. It's more of a just chatting stream, which is, you know, it's kind of fine, right? So in the US, is it a toilet paper shortage? In the UK, is it a deck paint shortage? I think the um, the toilet paper thing, I think, has gone gone away now. That seemed to be like just during the first like two or three weeks when everyone, not everyone, just I mean the idiots were panic buying. And so people were panicking and stockpiling and buying loads of stupid shit. Whereas after it's been going on now for like a couple of months, it's just everyone's, it's a bit more back to normal. Obviously still, you know, not going out and lots of, everything's closed and stuff, but... You know, you can get toilet roll. It doesn't seem too, as hard to get shopping delivered. The shops don't seem quite as ridiculously busy. It's, um, yeah, it's a little bit easier to, to crack on. That's probably just joining back into the same lobby there. <laughs> Avo, thank you very much for the 300 bits. Cheers, dude. It was Erangel, you bastards. I know. It's going to be the thing that makes me quit PUBG, I swear. The most likely thing to make me ever quit playing PUBG is just getting fed up that I can't play on Erangel. If someone buys it, do you get a cut? Well, you're not, we're not asking people to, to buy the track. You can just go and stream it for free via the links available on that uh, site there, Mick. Just go and check it out. Click the link. Click the platform of your choice, you know, give it a listen. Your gameplay is sick, bro. What's the best guns combo to start as a new player? Recall is a bitch. Love from Italy. What's up, uh, Mr. Italied? Um, best gun combo for a new player. Bridge pointer dropping the prime. Brand new prime sub. Cheers, bridge. Appreciate it. Look at this. This is... This is the content that people want, the lobby content. Avo dropping a gift this after gaming Nacho as well. Hey, doing Nacho. Don't suppose you've seen Aaron go anywhere. <laughs> Would be lovely. Um, gun combo for for new players. 
M4, no question. Yeah, but they're changing that really soon, though. So for, at the moment, the M4 is a, definitely a good choice. I would say the M4. Um, that is getting adjusted slightly soon, but I think it will still be a very strong gun. Um, maybe the, like, the, the ump is probably not a bad shout as well in terms of like recoil is fairly easy to manage. Yeah. Ump and a, ump and an M4. Then maybe like, uh, the mini or the SLR. If you're not quite ready for bow actions. Got to hit those previous subbers, subbers in chat. I appreciate the support today, man. Bison. Yeah, the Bison might not be a bad one. I think that the ones that you're going to struggle with for recoil are going to be the Beryl, the AK, uh, the M249, the DP. They're all going to be ones that are going to be tough. Other stuff is going to be easier. Scar's not going to do you too badly. The Vector is probably going to do you well. Bison is kind of... Bison, the Bison's good because it doesn't need loads of attachments. Vector and M4 are great, but... You... You know, as an experienced player, you don't think about it so much. But, you you know, there's a little bit more thought goes into the attachments that go on them. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love the AK. I love the AK, it's amazing. But um, I don't think it's the best gun for new players. I bought it as I get free Google money. Ah, oh, nice. Thank you so much, Mickey. I appreciate that. Wanted you up. No, I'm good. I'm running solos. Thanks, man. Welcome to the stream, though. Vector is amazing, but hard to control if you're not used to it. Yeah, that's fair. I think the problem with the Vector, I suppose, is that it fires its shots so quickly. If you're not accurate with your initial shot, then you miss all of them, and then you have to reload. Bison is good for newbies. Big mag, mag for lots of potatoes. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Do we have a Discord? We do. Yeah, get on there, mate. Get on there. It's me. Hi, Ben. Kylie, thank you very much for the 500 bits. Cheers, Kylie. Thank you for all your support recently. I haven't updated the um, Patreon overlays yet to put you on. Apologies, but I'll try and do that tomorrow. I forgot. New follower here. New to Twitch. I totally think my Ump SKS SLR best basic setup. Hey, Straw Muscle. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not a bad chat. I used to use both those guns a lot when I was a new player, for sure. I mean, there's been a few changes since then, but... See you later, it's bits. Take it easy. Which of the three Vans hats was that one? It'd be this one. This is the only one I wear on stream. The other one's for running and one's unused. <laughs> What's up, Bratty? How you doing? We're going to do this till we get an Erangel game. If, I'm, if I have to stay here all day, we're going to do it till we get Erangel. And then we're going to hot drop. <laughs> We'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. What's up, Big Air Brian? How you doing? Yeah, maybe a crate game. We we got one Erangel game earlier today, and we crate gamed it, and we had a pretty. That was easily the most entertaining game of the day. We got like we died in like thirty sixth, thirty fifth. Easily the most entertaining game of the day. Our one Erangel game, because Erangel is the best map, the most entertaining map. Oh my god, PUBG, please just give me Aaron Gore. We just want to see the PUBG loading screen. Yeah, well, exactly. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? How do? What's up, Spot Hunter? How you doing? It's going to be a long day. Any chicken today? Um, No, no chicken today. No chicken today. Andy, can you turn on Aaron Gore, please? Guys, just just give us give us Aaron Gould featured map and the other give us default option quick play Aaron Gould featured map other never change it job done job done PUBG's twice the game it was before never touch it and put and put solos in ranked and make solo and make ranked FPP only done ranked mode isn't live yet correct. 
Correct. Well, at least I've got to enjoy my coffee at, like, the perfect temperature, right? And fix everything else. No, I'll take that. I'll take that. I mean, that is reasonably likely what is going to happen, Raz. We're getting into games quickly. We're just not getting Aaron Cool. <laughs> Ben, have you heard of the Ember Cup? I think you need one. No, I don't know what that is. What's that? Is that a mixer thing? Sounds mixery. Played over the weekend nothing but Erringle. You'd have loved it. <sighs> don't make me jealous, man. Don't make me jealous. I don't need that in my life. I don't need this kind of negativity. Do you like the comedian Michael McIntyre? Mm, not massively. You should put a count up of how many lobbies you've left. Yeah, you know, I'd be curious to know how many it is. I think we've been going for about... I think I came back from getting my coffee at about quarter past two. So I think we're nearly 20 minutes in <laughs> now. <laughs> Chilling with your new baby boy. Nice. Congratulations, dude. That's awesome. You'll post it in Discord. Cool. Cool. Oh, it's a... Oh, it's like a mug, not like a... Not a... Not a competition. Right. Right. I don't, like, Michael McIntyre's okay, but it's just, like, it's just very, it's, like, bland mainstream comedy, I guess. It's not, there's no, there's no nuance to it. There's no wit to it. I think it's just, it's just, yeah, it's okay. He'll say something and you'll laugh. You know, you don't have to think very much. Maybe I'm just pretentious. Nutty one, thank you for the 27-month resub. Cheers, nut. Appreciate it, mate. I feel it's generally, like, it's the comedians that, you know, only do, like, massive arena shows that are the ones that I find less entertaining. Love the Newbie Larry video today. It was a good one, wasn't it? I enjoyed editing that. Pretend you don't want Aaron Gore and it'll come. In a minute, it's, I'm going to, like, zone out and I'm going to quit out of an errand because I'm not paying attention. Joe Wilkinson's the goat. Which one's Joe Wilkinson? Oh, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> 8 out of 10 cats does co countdown. is really funny. Is a Larry emote coming? Yeah, maybe. We could need to sort out some emote stuff. Shame Larry quit out. I know. It could have been literally that guy's first ever win and he quit out. Jim Jeffries is pretty funny. Yeah, Jim Jeffries is okay. I know that I've seen much, but I've just seen a couple of bits that have been pretty funny. Nearly there. Well, when we get to three o'clock, I'm going to play Ark anyway, so... Maybe get some sort of record of trying to get Aaron Gore here. Can't believe Larry left the game before the win. I know. I know, Merlin. It was near the end of the game as well. It's not like he died right at the beginning and I'd been killing people. And we must have been like almost in the top 10. We probably were in the top 10 of duos. There's about, what, 15 people left maybe? And he quits out. I mean, I guess he's a new player, so he didn't even think about it, but... I loved it when he was randomly throwing nades. Yeah. We did it, boys. We did it. It must be my birthday. I'm such a lucky boy. Oh, my God. That was... 
Actually, I saved nearly 20 minutes. I think that was half an hour. I think it was about... Let me scroll up. In, it doesn't have timestamps on chat, does it? I'm pretty sure that was about half an hour. <laughs> I mean, when was the hype train? That stuff was all... That was... Bef 22 minutes ago. 23 minutes ago was Slidey sub. The or Davy sub was 25 minutes ago. That's probably since I did a game. I think nearly... Nearly half an hour. Right, school? We're going to school, boys. Or should we go crate game? We'll go crate. Crate game's what people want to see. School would be funny to go to school and just die straight away and be annoyed, but... <laughs> we'll go for the crate game. Now combine all the half hours, because we're all waiting as well. Yeah, that's 200 times half an hour, PUBG. That's a lot. What's up, Jibroon? How you doing? Did someone just claim Michael McIntyre was a comedian? <laughs> Lanzaki and milk it. 101 hours. Practically a lifetime. Give them to me. Delta, thank you the 100 biddies. Is there anywhere you haven't dropped on Aaron Gall? Uh, well, back in the day, me and Chewie did like a beat the map where he dropped to every lo known, every named location and then got a win from it in duos, which we completed. So I've dropped every named location. I mean, where do you think I haven't, might not have dropped an Aaron Gall? A random compound somewhere. I like the idea of that. Like this, maybe? These? I think I have dropped to these before. This thing? It's a bit out of the way. I dropped here? Probably. Here? It's kind of a bit... I feel like people might think I may... I don't think I've ever dropped there. All right. I don't people think I'm AFK farming. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Tim Minchin's awesome. I love Tim Minchin. Uh, what's up, Jade? Thanks very much. Appreciate you checking out the live stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The island, top right corner. Spawn Island, the classic. The classic. We'll go for it. We'll go for it. It's a good suggestion from Kylie. She's been supporting the channel like crazy lately, so we'll just drop in a, a place that I may, may not have ever dropped before. We'll see how we go. It's very near to Severny, in fairness, in shooting range, but I'm not sure I've dropped at this actual compound before. I used to drop south side of military a lot. Back in the day, we used to always drop mini base. When I used, when it was like me and Chewie playing all the time, we just always went mini base. Like every every game, you might find a turntable. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we should have gone for like an H building. Looked for a turntable. They're rare, I hear. How do we do the line thing? How do I... I don't know how to do the line thing. <laughs> Why? Oh, that just removes my... I was going to mark, like, where the plane was. It was kind of back towards school from here. We can figure it out. LB. LOL. <laughs> Tab LB. Tap LB. Gone. Choose it. Look at the bots. Oh, there's, an a there's a guy AFK farming. Oh, look, this is the guy who dropped here. Look, he's dropped here to go AFK farming.
Bon. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> there we go. That worked out. Easy. No wonder he dropped. I was like worried about that guy pushing me. He wasn't going to push me. He was only here to kill AFKs. No wonder he dropped there. These people. These people. <laughs> Good shout, Kylie. Good shout. Uh, Delta, thank you for the 100 bits. Cheers, dude. Righteous Pudgy, yeah, I can't believe it. That's got to be the same dude, right? If there's another lad in here, I'm going to be pissed. I think he literally just came here to run off and farm AFKs. Hilarious. And surely he saw me, like, drop there. Let's see what he missed. Nice three quick kills. Yeah, so one of, who was there an AFK we ran over at the start? Was the first one might have been actual AFK, right? And there was a um Then the guy who was trying to shoot the AFKs who dropped here, and then there was the guy who um was punching out the AFKs. Gas and a glider? Oh yeah, that's not a bad shout. We, oh, we got a bike though. I think we'll be good with the bike. Hippie, thank you for the 17 months! <laughs> Cheers, mate. Oh my god, look at this. That's so much sevens. We do this? This seems fine, right? It's probably fine. Uh, Hippie, thank you so much for the 17 months. Oh, this kind of... Well, um, yeah, okay. Wait, what? Uh, how much ammo is this? Um, like this? Right? Yeah? Sure. I'll do that now. Oh god. Why do I why do I do these things? Over and over. Over and over. Over and over. Sure. You defended the FKs but then ran one over. Yeah, there was a bit of a mix. The first one was a bot. That's why I already had a weapon. He wasn't a bot. He the reason he had a weapon was because he dropped here with me, looted this house, and then ran over to try and kill the FKs. I don't think he was a bot. There was some collateral damage, but intentions matter. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Uh, right, what we got going on here? We got DP M16. Okay, we need to get an optic on that, really. Should we sing swing by Severni, maybe? I guess someone might have dropped there. The first one had an underscore in his name. I don't think he was a bot, though. I'm pretty sure, because he definitely landed here. He definitely parachuted down. He didn't drop down. The bots just drop down. They don't, like, lean into their shoots at all. So I don't think he was a bot. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty certain that unless it was someone that was not the guy who parachuted in, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't a bot. No way the first guy was a bot. Yeah, I'd be very, very surprised if he turned out to be a bot. That could only be possible if that guy was not the same guy that dropped that compound and the guy who drops that compound just walked off really quickly. Which wouldn't really make any sense. A bot's program to farm AFKs. Maybe maybe that was their solution to stopping people farming AFKs. They send this one bot that will always go and <laughs> go and farm them. Oh, it's almost tempting to run the buys, and we were saying we should um in fact kinda of might take it. Oh actually deep that no, we got the ammo. Oh, because then I have to go back and get the um the ammo from the other compound for it. I just thought it might be interesting because we were talking about the buys in a minute ago, but not. Yeah, can't be bothered to go back for the ammo. We just need to get a red dot or something on this DP. 
It's a bot from the future. Oh. Sent back to kill AFKs. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, Jimbo, how you doing? AFK is a strange phrase on console. I guess so, but it's just, you know, it's just that's the terminology, right? I don't think it needs redoing. Everyone knows what it means. It's a classic. You know, no one's really laughing out loud, but we still say LOL, right? I don't see a guy there. No. Anybody here? I want more stuff. Silly old words. Uh, what's up, Nico? How you doing? It's Sand. How you doing? Pimini's. How you doing? AFC. Yeah, but if you say AFC, it just sounds like a football club. It's already taken. Don't tell me how to lol. Lots of love. Yeah, exactly. That's what it means, right? Try that one again. Sergeant Bazza, excellent name, love it. We don't have much stuff here, but well, I mean, we got loads of ammo, I suppose. Just no, no optic on the M4. Makes me think of KFC and then I get hungry. Another good reason not to use it. AFC Bournemouth are the only AFC. Well, you know, I guess AFC Bournemouth are in my mind. You know, what can I say? I sport a championship club. <laughs> We're used to bumping into them down there. Back in the day. In the lower echelons. Over and over and over. Getting foggy, this might help keep me alive for a bit longer. We can really milk this Erangel game that we tried so hard to get. Ooh. AFC Wimbledon. Ah, oh, yeah, there's loads. What are you talking about? I mean, and just AFC being, you know, Arsenal. Or Aberdeen. Nice one, Drew. I looted that. I don't think so. Interested why you took the M4 over the DP? Guess the M4 has more attachments. I mean, it's just massively, massively a better gun. I mean, the DP would be better for, like, comedy and silliness, but I just spent half an hour quitting our lobbies to get this Erangel game, so <laughs> I'm taking the M4, sorry. Get some gas. Are we low on gas? Not like this.
Clinical. Clinical. Never in doubt. Someone shot him on his way in, didn't they? Hello! Hello! Which way are you going to go around? That way. Don't you oozy me. I want to get more stuff for that guy's crate, but I'm really nervous now. <laughs> Taking my Erangel game very seriously. I don't want to miss out on where this lad rotated to. I'm guessing he would have gone around the back of the compound. Or he's just chilling on that wall. But... There he is. Someone else trying to shoot me now. I think that must be up there for them to be hitting me like that. Yeah, he's tucked in on that corner. He saw where I was going. Uh, well, the zone's going to push soon. Where is this VSS dude? And now he has no helmet, do you think so? I did shoot him a bit, didn't I? He's taking that banged up car. Which way are you going? This way, I reckon? Sure. That's him or the VSS guy. I reckon it's probably the Uzi boy. But he may still be here. Uzi guy seems likely. Uh, right, we can carry on. We're doing this, we're doing this, doing this, this. Thank you. Thank you. Your vest, thank you. And your ammo. Cure. There we go. Fine. The great TPP off. Yeah, I mean, it's annoying, isn't it? This is why it feels silly. Like, I, you know, I love playing TPP. You know, it's why I mostly play. It's fun. It's a great game mode. But I don't. the idea of, like, a ranked TPP game just sounds kind of stupid to me. Like, the idea that... You can have ranked battles where you just stand there with no line of sight, just looking at each other. TPPing just seems so stupid to me. Like the, especially in ranked where it's going to be, you know, when you're playing a more, trying to play PUBG in a more competitive way. You, it's much more about, you know, holding good positions in the circle, getting yourself into good areas of cover, particularly buildings, and then holding those. And the fact that you can't push someone out of a building... <laughs> Without them being able to just TPP you and just sit there stationary without giving anything away and looking around a corner in a ranked game just sounds dumb to me. Even as someone who loves playing TPP. I feel that just takes, you know, like I'm not in knocking TPP. It's my game mode, but for ranked, it just seems silly. What's up, Carly? How you doing? Drums, how you doing? Uh, the streaming schedule for the week is up on the Discord. Uh, you can also go to... Oh, hello. Let's see a guy. I swear I just saw a dude run to this rock. Or am I tripping? Hello? Did I... Did I see this guy? Oh, I saw movement. Is it just like the blue shit I saw in the background? Hmm. 
Guess not. Hey Kira, how you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, I just feel like for something that's called ranks, this meant to like be resemble some sort of comp PUBG. I just feel like it. Especially when I mean it wouldn't be so I get especially when they obviously have matchmaking time concerns about ranked, otherwise why introduce it as squads only? So they're obviously concerned about not having the population on the server enough to um, to be able to do multiple different queues, to be able to do solos, to be able to do duos. So, you know, why not just make FPP only? I know there'll be a few people who are like diehard FPP refuse to play any other game mode, but, you know, just play an FPP, dude, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. Is there a guy near that? Probably. There is. <laughs> so predictable. I was like checking all the trees and I was like, right, look, at, I guess he might have parked up and gone in a bush. There he is. I'm not sure how he wasn't actually looking at me, though. Kind of boggles the mind a little bit. That guy parked up over there. Fuel? Ah, that's right. We're here now. Thanks, though. But he had all the ammo in the world, didn't he? Jesus, the barrel scar load out. Sure. Well, I guess he's over there somewhere. He was AFK, I imagine. No, he was moving around. Just wasn't looking at me. You looking at me? No. No, I'm not. Guy's claiming radar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tires? What are you saying about tires? I don't want to sit... I'm not going to sit there popping out random tires on cars when there's not really any advantage to taking out their car. Like, they're not in a position where the blue is going to really screw them if I took out the tires on that car. All it does is I'm going to sit still shooting out tires and risk getting headshot. There's no, there'd be no reason to shoot out the tires there. It doesn't look like anyone's even still using that car. Just trying to sort of guard this area a little bit. There'll be some lads knocking about. Oh, he's got an MK. Let's go find him. What's up, Rowata? How you doing? Kill him dead! Where are you, MK boy? I'm in a glider. It sounds like he's kind of up on the hill, doesn't it? Up there somewhere. Is he going to try and shoot the glider? We know it's kind of above him. I'm going to just fire from back there, I'm sure. I don't want to go too crazy while I know this MK guy is nearby. Level 3'd out of his mind. <laughs> this guy's skimming along the floor. Yeah, fair play. Uh, what's up, Dwayne? How you doing? Cadza, how you doing? Is he coasting around in the air or landing? I feel like he might have actually landed it. There's a lad.
Come on, buddy. Peek it out. Peek it out. I don't want to get MK'd in the ass. There we go. Come on. Thank you. This guy? You saw a guy just disappeared over there. Oh, it's this guy. Or girl. I mean, he's in a skirt. I killed him, mate. I killed him. We could smoke, in fairness. Oh, he went over there. Oh, sorry, Donnie. Sorry, Donnie. It's basically what Einstein did to me in that, like, first Sanok game today. I just found your Twitch. I was watching YouTube. Nice, nice. Well, welcome to the Twitch channel. Thank you for checking it out. It might be the MK guy, it looked like a level 3. Yeah, level 3. Can we rotate that way a bit? Hmm. Well, he sounds kind of busy. <laughs> Delta, thank you very much for the biddies. Just dude. Yeah, let's keep pushing up behind this guy. Maybe we'll catch him when he's busy. This bit here is horribly open. I'll just try and keep quiet for a minute. Level three guy, where where he is? I think. Well, there's whoever's left from the fight, I guess. Oh, it's not good. Let's see what happens. We need to get out of here, really. Is Donnie a viewer? Not as far as I know. Not as far as I know. Maybe. A bit worried about MK guy being on this ridge here. At least we can hear where he is. He's popping off, isn't he? Been a busy boy. There he is. He's keen. Come on. I'm not sure if I hit him or not, really. Please don't run me over. Go and push the MK guy. The MK guy killed him. Oh, that's not good. He's gonna get me hit. Oh, there's another guy behind me. Oh, come on. Some lab with an SLR rocks up. Ah, oh, GG's. Good little game. Good little game. There you go. Easily the other best game we've done today. Two, the two best, most fun, most entertaining games we've done today. Both Erangel games. We quit our games a half an hour to get that game on Erangel. Of <laughs> quitting our lobbies. Worth it. All day. Worth it. See, if we could play Erangel all day, the entertainment would be 
on another level. On another level. So disappointing.